Peck in the Pocono Mountains. Lots of people love eating salmon, especially when it's cooked on the grill. But we have a different way to prepare salmon, and here uh, to make sure we know all about it is Don Timothy. Hey guys, I'm outside our studios here in Old City with Al Paris, the chef and owner of Paris Bistro in Chestnut Hill. I have to say I have been there and I've had your salmon tartare wow. and it is fabulous. Well, that's what we're doing today. We're doing a beautiful salmon tartare with fresh sockeye. So what is the secret to this? Because I, I read that Craig LeBan, restaurant critic, said that you keep it simple, but it's right. beautiful. Well, that's just it. It's great. In ingredients. That's what French classic cuisine is. That's what we're doing at the bistro. It's it's a, a work of enduring excellence. All right. So take us through this. Well, what we're doing here now is we're going to take some beautiful sockeye salmon and we're going to dice it. Huh? Just fresh like that. Isn't that beautiful? And we're going to toss it in a simple lemon vinaigrette, which I'm going to show you. So let's go ahead and make that. And, and is the key to buy, is you have to buy good, fresh Absolutely. fish because it's the ingredients too that help make it taste so tasty. You know, you know, uh, fresh fish shouldn't smell like fish. It should smell like cucumbers and strawberries. It should be very beautiful that way. Um, now exactly, what are you doing here? Can we do this at home? Uh, you can make all this at home. This is the simplest recipe in the world, and it's also very exotic because of the fact that it's it's a raw fish dish. Well, tell us what you just put in there. It's mustard and lemon juice and salt and sugar and garlic and shallots. The recipe's on on your website. Um, we have beautiful sea salt, uh, touch a dash of cayenne, and then we're going to whisk that very simply, and we're going to finish that with a with a little bit of olive oil. And this is going to be the acidity in here is what cooks the fish and brightens it up. Uh, it's what it, it's what makes it. Uh, we like to say bright because you know a raw ingredient is very subtle, and the acid really brings it up. It also serves to cook it. So this is our dressing, very quite simply. Now what and we do? I'm sorry, Dawn. Go ahead. And then what 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 do we do next? Well, what we do next is we take our fish, very simply. We toss in our dressing. I'm ready for egg, Chef Zachary. We take a little bit of our dressing. We toss it with our fish. Huh? I have to say I have had this at your restaurant and it was extremely tasty. Well, thank you. And then what we do, it's a little bit heavy. We're going to mount this beautiful uh, mold here just so we can keep the integrity. This is our restaurant secret here. You can make these at home, out of pipe, but we, we kind of buy them. But it gives you a beautiful shape. It's just another way. Presentation is done is just another way to respect the food. All right, and so then we just lift that off because we got to. We lift it off, and that's our dish. Very simply, though, what we do after that is we garnish. And we have a triple cream cheese. This serves, if you were doing beef, it would be an egg yolk. But here, what it is, is it's cheese. And then we have our chive, and that's the dish. And there's a fork, and there's the wine, and let's go. All right. Well, thank you, Al Paris from the Paris Bistro in Germantown. We're going to try this. And I, I may be joining you back up in the studio, uh, Chris and Sue. Uh, maybe not. Or well, maybe not. You. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't blame you if you stayed. All right, thanks, guys. Cheers. Hey, yeah. still ahead, the stars shine on the royal blue 